Hi you guys. If you're watching this video, it's because you are going through some anxiety and today I am going to give you some verses from the Bible that are aimed at giving you peace. That's the thing about anxiety is that it is the opposite of peace. Okay, so to start, I'm just going to quickly pray over you. Jesus, I pray that whoever is watching this video, that you would just take the anxiety out of his or her mind. I pray that you would give them peace from whatever it is that is bothering them right now. Um, I'm sensing that there is a lot of trouble hurting some people out there watching this video. And if you would, Father, just remove those burdens from them, please, in this video today. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And so I'm just going to jump right into it. The first verse that I have is, Do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Jesus Christ. That is Philippians 4, 6 through 7. The next one is John 16, 33. I have told these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. This is Isaiah 12, 2. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself, is my strength and defense. He has become my salvation. I'm just going to pause here for a minute and just remind you to, whatever you're doing right now, just relax. Um, you don't need to go through any extravagant breathing exercises, but just breathe deeper, get comfortable, and remember that there is never a wrong time to relax. No matter where you are, it is acceptable to relax. It's okay. They tell us that we need to be stressing all the time, but that's just not true. Your natural state is relaxation. And also something else, it's a really important thing to remember. God provides everything, literally everything that we have. Um, so when you wake up in the morning, just remember that that there's nothing else, there's nothing that we have without God. So everything, every breath that you take, every friend that is in your life, every meal, it's all because of God. And this is true for every single person alive. So how can we doubt him? How can we doubt that after our whole lives of him providing for us so far, and getting us through every single hard situation and ensuring that every single moment we stay alive and we stay content and safe, that he would not then be able to carry us through the rest of our lives in that same way. Safe and happy and content and secure. He is the only reason we're here. So we must trust him. Let the peace of Christ rule your hearts, since as members of one body you are called to peace, and be thankful. Psalms 29 11. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. John 14 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Just trust yourself. Sometimes we forget our own power and how much we've grown and how much we've accomplished. Don't underestimate your own ability. Sometimes when I'm feeling anxious, it really just helps me to put a smile on my face and just sit there for a minute. Just smile to yourself wherever you are. Breathe and smile because... Happiness is a secret tool that can be used against anxiety 
And it works because you trick yourself into thinking that everything's okay and that you're calm. Peter 5, 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares about you. Matthew 6, 27. Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? Worrying is not productive. And this next one is specifically for a certain person out there. Um, I know a lot of you, maybe particularly in Australia or Canada, are struggling against authoritarian governments. Um, so for those dealing with oppressive rulers or mandates that perhaps they don't agree with, for those dealing with rules that they don't agree with and that they feel are oppressive, Luke 12 11 says, when you are brought before synagogues, rulers, and authorities, do not worry about how to defend yourselves or what to say. Don't place too much importance on those in power. That's what the Bible tells us. Jesus tells us that basically we shouldn't worry too much about the laws of this society because, well, first of all, society is always changing. And second of all, God is above the rules of a government. So there's another quote that I like to think about um, sometimes, and it's, we follow a God who calls us not to conform to the things of this world. <clears throat> and another one is Peter 3, which says, even if you suffer for doing what is right, God rewards you. Some more things that these verses make me think of is number one, the world is a hard place um, and you can't do it all on your own and that's okay. Number two is all you need to do to stop worrying is cast your worries onto Jesus and since he is the God who loves you enough to leave the 99 to find the one who was lost, the one who was lost, your prayers will be answered. Number three, often we get so limited by the physical world that we forget that it's a very small portion of reality. You are so much bigger than your body and your God is so much bigger than this world. So just remember that these things that we worry so much about, they're really not that important. What What's important is the health of your soul and making sure to be there for the people that you love and having a connection with God. Also number four is God always provides a way. He is the God of possible, meaning that he can take a hopeless situation and turn it into a wonderful situation in the blink of an eye. So remember his how big he is, how strong he is, how capable he is. Um, and read the Bible to learn about all his miracles, and this will really confirm your faith in him. Um, number five, this is a little something I wrote. It's called Every Morning I Remember. Every morning I remember who God is. I remember how wonderful he is, and that I am alive is a miracle in itself. I remember how he is with me every day of my life. That my walk with him is not just on Christmas or on Sundays, but every day of my life. And every morning, no matter what the day holds, I know that God will be enough for that day. That all that matters is that I cling to him, that I ask him for hope. And I remember the miracle of his, his son, Jesus Christ. And his love brings a smile to my face. There is so much joy. And every day I remember that I am who I am meant to be and that he is enough. And there is a song, last point, there's a song called Gyra, and one of the lyrics is, if he dresses the lilies with beauty and splendor, how much more will he clothe you? If he watches over every sparrow, how much more does he love you? And I also found out today that the name Jehovah Jireh, which is another word for God, translates to the God who will provide. And that's exactly what God does. He provides. If you're looking for 
food, he provides. If, you're, if you have a question, he provides an answer. If you're looking for a home, he provides a home. He, he meets all of our needs because we're all his children and he cares about each of us deeply. Never forget that God provides. And lastly, God has not forsaken you. God has not forgotten you. Yeah, just remember that you are a child of God. And nothing can threaten that. Nothing can take that away. And even when you're doing nothing, you are enough because you are his child. And what an amazing thing to be a child of God. I mean, that's... That's just incredible. This God who literally created the whole world, the whole universe, and everything that you find amazing, and everything, all of the art and amazing science and oceans and crystals and everything in this world, he made it, and he made you, and he loves you the most. Imagine what kind of potential you, as a child of that creator, has inside you. I just want to pray one more time, Jesus, I just pray that whoever's watching this video would feel happier after this and that they would just take a deep breath and relax. Remember that there is all of eternity waiting for them after this life. It's not just about this life. I pray that you would remind them that. I pray that you would remind them that they are limitless and, and that heaven is limitless after this life so I just hope that they don't get too bogged down with the world and all of the things that can get you caught up in this world in Jesus name I pray I hope you have a wonderful day and um, that you would not get too down on yourself whatever is going on in your life all right bye all right bye <clears throat> All right, bye. <clears throat> All right, bye.